update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up by 422. NASDAQ up 348. S&P's up 69. That was a gain inside the NASDAQ composite, folks, of 2.5%. 1.2 inside the S&P and the Dow Industrials. Gold. Gold contract down $15, trading 1854 an ounce. We had silver down 45 cents, 23 dollars 39 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 346, 91 dollars 98 cents a barrel. Oil still wants higher price, folks. The bottom line, we back down with light of eye, and this is building cause for the next leg up in the market. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note down 10 ticks, trading 125.21. 30-year up a full point, plus four ticks at 150.20 in King Dollar. King Dollar down 370 ticks, trading 96.05. Euro 113, yen 115.63, and the British pound 135 to 1 US dollar. We get up and we take a look at the market, folks. What you're doing is this. You're doing a bounce. You have another contraction of volume that says, guess what? You're going to get higher price, but you're also going to come right back downtown. I suspect this little consolidation we have now, the spy's at 445. Top of this consolidation is at 458. We go to the NDX 100, the three Qs. We take a look at the three Qs. They are up today. A big contraction of volume, up $8.64. Now, it's going to be interesting about the Qs is this. The last swing point, you know, okay, so this, the swing point on the 2nd of February was 370. The last swing point was 366. We're at 356. So the real question is, can it make to e, can it make it to either of those swings? Now, I expect it's going to, and the reason I expect it's going to is because of the contraction of volume that we had yesterday inside the composite. The bottom line, the composite came down, but the contraction was huge. We, it, it, we went to 4.5 billion, I believe. Let me just get this in front of us again. So we did yeah, 4.2 no, billion going into 5.2 and 5.7. So bottom line is that that's saying that the composite is getting a little bit stronger and wants higher price. Gold, it's gonna be interesting to see what we have happen with the gold contract here. Bottom line, gold traded up to 1880, pre-market today, gave it up on price. You're laying out at 1853, uh, and 1853 just barely gets it inside the lower range. So if that's what we have, bottom line, well, you can basically retest uh, somewhere about 1821. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.